something I found interesting. Patrick Mahomes and Caitlin Clark yesterday uh, were both uh, asked about Donald Trump, politics, Kamala Harris, voting, and I think they both gave appropriate, interesting reactions. We'll start with Patrick Mahomes because he's been in the news cycle because of his wife as it relates to politics. She's like some Trump tweets. Obviously, Taylor Swift is on the other side. She's a Kamala uh, supporter. Uh, let's play sot number seven. Former President Trump referenced you and your family again today mm -hmm. on Fox News in relation to his campaign. I just wonder what your reaction is to seeing that. Yeah, I think I've, I've always said um, I don't want I don't want my place and my platform to be used to endorse a candidate or do whatever um, each either way. I think my place is to inform people to get registered to vote. It's to inform people to do their own research and then make their best decision for them and their family. Um, and so I think that's every time I'm on this stage and I get asked these questions, I'm gonna refer back to that because I think that's what makes America so great. I think it was important though, I don't know if important is the right word, but when you were at the U.S. Open this past mm -hmm. weekend and you guys were there with Taylor and, and Travis, I mean, is, is that an important image to, to show that, you know, people who may have different philosophies can... Yeah, I mean, I think I've always, uh, even dating back, I think if you've seen my history, I, I've grown up with people from every every aspect of life um, and every background. And I think the best thing about a football locker room and kind of how I've grown up in baseball locker rooms, everything about that is people can come together and, and achieve something and achieve a, a common goal. Um, and I think if we can, I mean, we, we talked about it a, a while back, but I think if we can do that as a nation, I think that we can get the best out of each other. Um, and so I think that's something that I do every single day. And whenever I'm hanging out with, with whoever, I'm not, I'm not thinking about their political views or anything like that. I'm thinking about the people and how they, how they treat other people. Um, and I was with a lot of great people this weekend. Pat, did you have a thought about specifically about the idea of President Trump bringing up Brittany's name? Does that affect you one way or another? No, I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's about, it's about me and my family and how we um, treat other people. Um, and, I, and I think you see is that Brittany does a lot in the community. I do a lot of com in the community to help bring people up and give people other opportunities to, to use their voice. Um, and so it's, um, in the political times, people are going to use stuff here and there, um, but I can't let that affect how I go about my business every single day and live my life um, and try to live it to the best of my ability. Man, that, that's a home run to me. But are you got something you want to? Well, I just think this is an opportunity to I, I understand his political answers and her sort his positioning with it. But I, this is a great opportunity if she really does support Trump and they're going to hang out and she's going to be with Taylor. I think this could be a great moment in, in our country to see those two very polarizing, popular people having very different political opinions, hanging out at a horse race or wherever they are and drinking and enjoying it. I, I say go the next step and come out and, and as opposed to just in the liking level, like come out and say it. He's tap dancing around it a little bit, and I get it, but I think it could be way more impactful to show. Is the butter box ready? Is, or continue, butter. Just, That's a good point. The, I mean, the, there's the butter no butter box, box here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, your critic, Patrick Mahomes just said something I thought beautiful and powerful he, and perfect. He could have, I, I agree, but it was a very political answer. He could have come out and just said it and owned it as well. And created a big firestorm around himself. You know how the media is going to react. He, he, under, he said it without saying it, without giving the media a chance to exploit it. I'd love the answer. Steve? You know, the thing that bothers me about that, it almost seems like if any athlete or celebrity comes out it with even a taciturn endorsement of anyone that is Republican or leans right, or specifically Donald Trump, it's not an interview. You're not asking questions. You start to interrogate their beliefs. No one has ever done this and said, hey, why, why are you uh, leaning towards Kamala? Do you like her plan? How about her border issues? Do, do you like it? Uh, they don't do that. They really don't. And it's really, I, I don't know if I have resentment for it because I don't know if I care enough. But when these leagues like the WNBA and everyone else falls in line with vote, right? It all started with MTV in the 90s. Vote or die. I remember that as a much younger man. And I used to think, you know what? That's admirable. We should all vote. The problem with that, guys, is they're all telling you to vote for a certain party. I'm being dead serious. When people leverage you and say, Steve, are you going to vote? Give them this answer. Yeah, I'm going to probably vote for the guy you're not. See if those people really want you to vote at that point.
It's not about voting. It is about <laughs> campaigning for a certain political affiliation. Uh, uh, do you like Patrick Mahomes' answer? Yeah, it's the best he could have done. It is the best he could have done. We have to stop as an American public. Number one, stop worshiping athletes and celebrities. Okay. Number two, stop expecting them or demanding that they have the same political beliefs as you. It is not fair to them. It is not right. It is not even something that they should be responsible for. If your happiness in your life is dictated to by how many yards Patrick Mahomes throws for or who he votes for, that is an indictment on you as an individual, not Patrick Mahomes or any other athlete. Yeah, uh, I, I, I love Patrick Mahomes. I love Brittany Mahomes. I love the answer here. It's awesome. Caitlin Clark, she's 22. She's not as experienced as Patrick Mahomes. Christine Brennan of USA Today asked her about liking uh, the Taylor Swift tweet or uh, Instagram post. Uh, let's play Clay Caitlin Clark. One second here. Caitlin, um, you liked a, an Instagram post last mm -hmm. night uh, from Taylor Swift that got a lot of attention. And I'm just curious if, if you could tell us what that post meant mm -hmm. to you and if you are, in fact, potentially going to endorse Kamala Harris. Thank you. I think for myself is, you know, I have this amazing platform, so I think the biggest thing would be just encourage people to register to vote. Um, I think for myself, this is the second time I can vote in an election. At age 22, I could vote when I was 18. So um, I think do that. That's the biggest thing I can do with the platform that I have, and that's the th same thing Taylor did. Um, and I think continue to educate yourself um, with the candidates that we have, the policies that they're supporting. Um, I think that's the biggest thing you can do, and that's what I would recommend to every single person that has that opportunity in our country. Hmm. Uh, Steve, what do you think of that answer? And you know what? She's obviously worked on her crossover because a couple of nights ago when she liked that tweet, oh my gosh, she's for Kamala. Now there are going to be certain people that are going to take that statement that, no, I'm not specifically for Kamala or Mr. Trump. Just judge it for yourself. Which policies do you like? In my view, a lot of those people, they're going to be very angry now at Caitlin for not giving a full-blown pledge to campaign and to vote for the Democratic Party. That's the way I look at it. I, I, look, just my opinion. You can agree or disagree. If she had it to do it all over again, I don't think Caitlin would have liked that tweet. She just would have said, you know what? I want to stay out of it. I think this has been more trouble than it's been worth for her this week, given some of the other issues that have propped up. The WNBA commissioner makes a statement that the woke mob doesn't like. And all of a sudden, the, the spotlight shifts, not only to Caitlin Clark, but then her supporters. And it becomes this big whole racial issue. So now she's got the issues of race and politics at the same time. Uh, I, I feel bad for her in a certain respect because she's just someone trying to play ball. Butter, before you chime in, just let me give you this warning. You know I love Caitlin Clark. Yeah. Uh, and she's my favorite athlete. Uh, your thoughts on her comments? I, and along with Patrick Mahomes and what Caitlin just said, I think that was very well done, and I appreciate them taking the time. And they're demonstrating how you can operate as a high-level athlete in sports and not have to be a LeBron James or not have to come out and, and support somebody. So to you and to avoid the butter box and the penalties here today, I say it honestly. I really appreciate the way she handles that and Patrick Mahomes, both of them. Well, you don't have to backpedal on Patrick Mahomes. You've already said dumb things about him. Stand on it, brother. Uh, but Caitlin Clark is 22. That's about as best I could hope for from a 22-year-old. She's already carrying a million other burdens. She's got a bunch of angry women that don't like her. Uh, she's not knocking down three-point shots at the rate that she's used to. She's carrying an entire league. Why take on the political burden? Smart move by her. Uh, you know, but, but I will add this for Patrick Mahomes and Caitlin Clark. Patrick Mahomes is at the top of the NFL. Caitlin Clark, to me, is at the top of basketball. They have enough talent and enough value that they can't, they have the freedom to kind of say what they think. They're not going to lose their fan bases. 
over it. Uh, you know, there's not going to be so much social media backlash that, that it crushes them. It, it's more the mid-level athletes it's, it's, that have more pressure on them. They're kind of, Patrick Mahomes is free. He's got an enormous contract. He's going to get another enormous contract. He's got three Super Bowls. Caitlin Clark, the whole WNBA goes away if she's not happy and a part of it. That gives you a lot of freedom that many other athletes don't have. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss a moment of Fearless.